Recently, YouTubers have been getting pretty ridiculous when it comes to marketing products to their fans. And unfortunately, one of these YouTubers is what some might call the GOAT of tech reviews. You know, the Cristiano Ronaldo of Samsung Galaxies. Some might call this YouTuber Marquez Brownlee. You know, I'm a pretty solid fan of Marquez, and this video is not meant to dig into him as a person. He isn't malicious or deceiving like a YouTuber who, for example, markets their pump and dump crypto scheme to a demographic of children. It's more or less that this app that Marquez Brownlee has spearheaded has got to have one of the most hilariously bad launches of any app that I think I've ever seen. It's not like the app was glitchy like the Master Chief Collection. I mean that whoever conceptualized this app has got to be huffing on that galaxy gas in the company boardroom, if you get what I'm saying. So a couple days ago, Marquez Brownlee brought the world's attention to an app that he and a team of people developed, and this app is called Panels. Wow, a Marquez Brownlee app. Maybe this app is centered around tech reviews or you know something that's actually relevant to Marquez Brownlee. Maybe the app's an OnlyFans competitor. I don't know. Unfortunately, both of those guesses were incorrect. This app is instead a marketplace for wallpapers because that's exactly what this world needed our society and quite frankly the planet in general you know we needed a way to be able to spend money on digital wallpapers and you know these aren't special edition PSA gem mint 10 wallpapers handpicked by the ghost of Bob Ross like dude this is literally just shit that you'd find on your neighbor's wife's Pinterest profile like especially this one which is called cocktail hour I don't know what screams middle-aged woman more than cocktail hour but there's a ton of other wallpapers papers that are meant for other demographics of people. Take this one, for example, entitled Blurry Flowers. You know, Marquez was really right in saying that this app would feature premium artist curated wallpapers, like a picture of flowers that are blurry. There's also wallpapers like these, which this one's just super random. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, you know, this one's pretty sick. I, I like forests and shit. Now, here's the thing. Would I pay money for this wallpaper? No, I would not pay money for this wallpaper. I would not pay money for any of these wallpapers. The main thing as for why this app sucks is because of the prices. The prices are beyond scummy. You know, first of all, no one's paying for wallpapers anyways. This might be mind-blowing to you, but if you just log into the internet or something, you will find wallpapers, premium artist curated wallpapers probably, or just any wallpaper for a grand total of zero dollars. Yeah, admittedly, it may not have Marquez Brownlee's super special seal of approval, but at least you ain't paying Marquez Brownlee prices. This app is charging you a $50 annual subscription fee, or in conjunction with that, a $12 monthly subscription fee. Yeah, $50 a year so that you can have access to wallpapers like Japan Power. You're paying $50 a year for shit like this. But guys, don't worry, there is a way that you can get free wallpapers papers via the app. It's not a glitch or nothing. And basically what you got to do is you just got to sit down and watch an ad. And when you finish the ad, the wallpaper that you get is in standard definition. In other words, the only wallpapers that are available in this app are wallpapers that are in OG YouTube quality, aka 480p. And the amount of time that it took you to watch this ad and to unlock a wallpaper that's in potato quality, you could have gone on Bing images or something and could have found like seven 4k resolution resolution wallpapers for a grand total of zero dollars. It's entirely free to do this. A lot of people too are highlighting the fact that the app is asking you for personal information, but I think that every app nowadays kind of does this. The truth is, your data is extremely valuable to basically any company. But the whole thing is ultimately funny because Marquez Brownlee basically went to Twitter and was like, yeah guys, you know, I'm sorry, this shit was an L. Um, I'll, it'll get better in the future though. You know, the way that he responded to this was pretty mature and respectable. Unlike some other people who let critical things Thinking from other people fester in their heads. These people are also delivering dangerous products to children and society. My point is, at least the wallpaper app is inconsequential to the grand scheme of things. On the other hand, Prime and Lunchly are seed oil processed garbage products designed to turn kids into the Gamorrean guards from Star Wars. Maybe panels will improve to the heights of DeviantArt or something, I don't know. I truly don't know why Marquez Brownlee decided to pitch in on this app. But that's also just me. Comment down below Below, which of the wallpapers that I featured today are your favorite also tell me if you actually spent money on this app You know, I'm not here to judge. I spent all my money on YouTunes 
So, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't buy U-Tunes. Maybe I do. Maybe that. Maybe I just have a massive U-Tunes vault in Las Vegas or some. I don't fucking know. I don't know where I'm going with this. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Stay gaming. Stay locked in, and stay stay awesome.